Oh, level five. There we go. Level seven. Level eight. Level nine. Ten. There we go. Level 11. Dude, holy crap. This spawns so many zombies. There we go. Level 13. Level 14. 16. This is a thousand percent going to be the quickest way to level up weapons. This is kind of broken. All right, and welcome back, guys. With the introduction of Season 5 Reloaded, they have introduced a new way for you to potentially level up your weapons insanely fast. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. Yeah, duh, it's the Rampage Inducer. Everyone knows about that. But no, with Season 5 Reloaded, I think even on top of that, there is a even new, faster way, not using the Rampage Inducer at all, to level up your weapons extremely fast in Cold War Zombies. To test this out, we are currently on the alt account right now that has like no weapon levels on anything. We're gonna be using the FFAR, which is currently level one, not got a single thing of XP. We're gonna go into a game and see how quickly we can level this up to be able to start getting camos for it, which is usually around the 30, 35, maybe level 40 range. And on top of that, we're going to be doing this solo. Obviously, you guys know in Cold War Zombies, you get way more XP with more players. So whatever the rate we get from testing in this video, we would be able to duplicate that and almost triple that by adding more players in our game. And I think this strat might work really well with players, depending on how it works. That being said, let's go ahead and load into game. We're going to be loading in to Outbreak. Well, I'm currently doing that and getting situated. If you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate it. Our goal is to hit 175,000 subs before Vanguard comes out. Honestly, it's going to be a pretty hard goal to hit. And on top of that, I got to give a huge thanks to everyone who's going to like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety. Those three things help my channel out massively and helps us try to hit our goal. Alrighty, now here we are loaded in game on Amada. And honestly, I'm curious how this is going to work on this map. And I just realized I have like nothing upgrade on this account. We don't even have the Bowie knife knife. We're punching with our weapon and zombies so we'll see exactly how well this map works for it honestly it could be pretty good or kind of janky depending on how it works now you guys have seen i made an outbreak orda kind of weapon xp guide the thing that sets this xp guide apart from that is this one's way easier to set up the outbreak event only spawns in like on wave two plus and this is a way more common event and i think this event spawns zombies indefinitely so what we're gonna do is start the black chest event and now we're going to go to one of the orbs, maybe on this ship right here. And if this indefinitely spawns zombies in without a cap, this will probably be the single quickest way to level up weapons. So we'll go ahead, start shooting zombies. Obviously, if you're going to do this, you might want to set up and get perks. But this is just, you know, basic entry level testing right now. And after we get a bunch of kills, we might go buy some perks and stuff. So right now, it does seem to be indefinitely spawning in zombies. But uh, just like the Orda event, it gives you the idea that it's spawning in zombies indefinitely. Orta will spawn in zombies for a little while, but it eventually caps out. And there we go, FFAR already level two, but if we had four players in our game, this would probably be level three or four already. And the thing about this is, this event has three different of these little purple crystals or purple balls that fly around. You could have one player at each different crystal, get a team of three friends and absolutely grind XP. And we might try to do that towards the end of this video to test out what the weapon XP rates look like when you're using three different accounts with three friends in the game. Oh, sweet. And we got, pa oh, oh, we're gonna go down. Uh, we don't have armor. We don't have armor or anything. Uh, go in the water. I mean, I guess the best part about Amada is if you get overran, just like hop in the, or not oh there we go weapon level three already and we have only been in this game for a very little bit of time uh we're gonna have to use the water to our advantage here because like i said this account has no upgrades on it like this is i think it's got a few things tier three and tier four but for the most part this is a stock fresh account oh did we hit the cap oh no, for a second there, I thought we hit the zombies cap, but no, it's still going. And you know what? I did end up dying because one, I'm trash at this game, and two, I think I need a better setup here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scour two other people, see if I can get them to join with me, and see just how quickly we can level up our weapon. Because I think this is it, boys. That was almost no time at all, and we got our FFAR. What level did we get it? Like, we were only in that for probably two minutes. This might be actually the quickest single way, and it's super easy to set up. All right, here we go. Take two. We've now got Night Wolf, Xan, and True Darkness in our game, and we're going to test out how efficiently this works with three and four players just to see how efficient it's going to be. And I've got a really good feeling about this, so let's load in game. Hopefully, we get lucky again, get the Black Jestifant on round one so we don't have to back out and try this again. This time, we're not using the FFAR, obviously, because we got levels on it now. We're going to be using the QBZ, and yeah, it does have XP, but it's got like... 
like that much. So I don't think it's going to matter too much for our testing here. And just like that, we're now loaded into Ruka. And luckily enough, look at that. It's got the event that we're looking for. Like I said at the beginning of this video, part of what makes this one a lot easier than kind of using the Orta event to grind weapon XP is that it's a way more common occurrence. A lot of times when you spawn in, you're going to have it on round one and you're going to be able to do it right off the bat. All right, so let's go ahead, activate chest number two. And what orb options do we have? Oh my, that is a lot of zombies already. The only bad part about this event is that the orb const- Oh, it's already level three. You can see the amount of difference four player adds because we just started and it's level three. And this is what we got the FFAR to last time after a few minutes. But you know, about less than a minute into the event, level four already. Um, if zombies indefinitely spawn, this is a thousand percent going to be the quickest way to level up weapons. This is kind of broken. Oh, level five. There we go. Level seven, level eight, level nine, ten. All right, we've got enough points now. Luckily that you get points for all these kills and we're next to a perk machine. So let's go ahead and buy quick revive. That way we have a higher chance of living in this spot a little bit longer. And you get three different options. When you do this event, there's three different kind of uh, purple crystals or balls that come out. And you can go, oh, we actually have that tier five. That's sick. And you can go to whichever one you want. So there we go. Let's get a few perks. Reload a little bit quicker. Regen health a little bit quicker to help us out some. Oh, wait, did we hit it? Yeah, I think zombies have stopped spawning. I think just like the Orta event, eventually zombies stop spawning. The best part about this is, is there's two more of these. So you can go to another one over here unless they've already killed all the zombies that come from this one. Yep, it looks like both of these are zombied out. What about the third one over here? I wonder if it's an overall thing or if it's tied to each individual one. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it has stopped. So it seems uh, maybe if we go ahead and destroy one of them. But it looks like at some point the zombies do stop spawning. Oh, wait, no, no. There we go. Maybe you just have to do a little bit of damage. There we go. Level 11. Dude, holy crap. This spawns so many zombies. There we go. Level 13. Level 14. Still spawning zombies? Yes, it is. So I do think there is a cap on the amount of zombies that spawn, but I think every time you break one of the crystals, it allows more and more zombies to spawn. So, I mean, it, it's working very well. We've got a ton of kills. Level 15 on this QZB. I don't even know how oh, it's been about 10 minutes now. So, um, yeah, this has been kind of crazy. 16. Oh, there we go. Broke the last crystal. The zombie stopped spawning. And so the zombie spawns are not infinite, but even though the zombie spawns are not infinite, I still think this is the single quickest way to level up weapons. Because if we look at our weapon level right now, this is level 16. This had pretty much no XP when we spawned in here. Been about 10 minutes, able to go in with four players, kill all the zombies at all the orbs. And as soon as they stop spawning, destroy one of the orbs, allowing more zombies to spawn in. And we were rapidly able to get a ton of XP. And it's not like the order event. You don't have to go to wave two. If we want to do this again, all we got to do is leave the game, go back on wave one and rinse and repeat. And that is it. And we will once again be able to do this and get more and more XP. And it also sets you up pretty good for an outbreak game. We got tons of points here. So if we wanted to continue on this game and not level up our weapons, we could. Uh, one thing I do want to say, I do not recommend going to wave two and completing this because if you do the same thing on wave two, you are going to be getting less weapon XP per kill. The way zombies works in this game, the lower round you are on, the more XP you get. And that's why we're able to get so much XP. We ended up getting 224 kills on wave one in a short period of time. And yeah, you could warp to the next wave and do the same thing on that. But it's so much easier just to leave the game, load back into a fresh outbreak game, find another black chest event and rinse and repeat. You're gonna get way more XP for that. And you're gonna very quickly max out your gun. In about 10 minutes here, went from level one to 16. And obviously, the more players you have, the better it's going to be. If you don't have anyone to play with, I'm going to leave the Discord linked below. That's actually where I got all the people I'm currently playing with now. These are people I hit up on Discord who were able to join me and play with me. So the link for our Discord, you can find people to grind weapon XP, camo grinding if you want to do that, MP grinding, pretty much anything you want to do in zombies. You're going to be able to use the Discord, find people to do that with. But yeah. With that, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Definitely let me know how you feel about this weapon XP event. Do you think this is the best way? Because I'm pretty sure that this beats out the Rampage Inducer. If you set this up right, you can get an insane amount of weapon XP in a very short amount of time. With that, guys, we're going to end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys next time.
I want to take the last moment here to thank everyone who's became a YouTube member, our Twitch sub, and an extra special thanks to everyone who became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We get the Legend Sergeant CJ, the e Lawyer You Don't Cross Hoss, the DMCA Claim Waiting to Happen Snap, Hunter Redondo, the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, your master, the friend who always comes through, Drew, and then we have Luke.